KVIA TV, the communications leader in El Paso. This is News 7. Good evening. I'm Gary Warner. And Thank I'm you for joining us tonight on News 7. And I'm Kim Lamb. From KVIA TV, this is News 7, the most watched late newscast in West Texas and Southern New Mexico. Good evening. I'm Kim Lamb. Thank you for joining us tonight on News 7. And I'm Gary Warner. Live from the KVIA-TV Telecommunication Center, this is the award-winning News 7 team. Chris Chesrone, Roy Ortega, Jim Gamble with weather, and Fred Albers on sports. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight here on News 7. This is a News 7 morning report. Good morning, I'm Raymond Mesa. It's 825. Our current temperature is 71 degrees, and I'll have the complete forecast coming right up. Live from the KVIA-TV Telecommunication Center, this is the most watched late newscast in West Texas and Southern New Mexico with Julia Hilder, Gary Warner, John Fawcett with weather, and Fred Albers on sports. Good evening. It took two tries with voters in the Socorro School District. Live from the KBIA TV Telecommunication Center, this is the most watched early newscast in West Texas and Southern New Mexico with Suzanne Michaels. Gary Warner, John Fawcett with weather, and Fred Albers on sports. County Judge Luther Jones, Commissioners Orlando Fonseca and Marty Georges will not, in fact, cannot be removed from office. This is the news leader, KVIA 7 Together. Today on News 7. Suzanne Michaels, Gary Warner, Jim Gamble with weather, and Fred Albers on sports. The 1991 session of the Texas legislature is now underway. Hello and welcome to News 7. Gavels fell and... is News 7 Nightcast, rated number one in El Paso and Southern New Mexico, with Julia Hilder, Gary Warner, John Fawcett with weather, and Jeff Lindbergh with sports. Good evening and thanks for being with us. There will be no runoff for Northeast City Representative. is News 7 Nightcast, rated number one in El Paso and Southern New Mexico, with Roy Ortega, Chris Chesrone, Jim Gamble with weather, and Jerry Murphy with sports. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. This is the News 7 Nightcast. Tonight with Chris Chesrone, Raymond Mesa, David George on weather, and Lou Romano with sports. Good evening and thank you for joining us this Saturday night. This is New 7 Nightcast, rated number one in El Paso and Southern New Mexico. Pope John Paul is heading back to Rome tonight after concluding his U.S. visit. From the news station.
KBIA 7. Laura Polka. Gary Warner. This is News 7 at 10. Giant lines feeding electric power to El Paso fail, causing the shiny Sun City to fade to black. This is News 7, 10 at 10. All the day's news in 10 straight minutes. Good evening and welcome back to the set of News 7. Live from the news station. KVIA 7. Estella Cusset. Gary Warner. This is News 7 at 10. Fifteen different police agencies in the El Paso area gang up on the bad guys and do not come away empty-handed. Good evening and welcome to News 7's 10 at 10, 10 straight minutes of news. The target was a drug trafficking organization responsible for a recent rash of port running incidents. At Live from 7, the news station, this is 7 News at 6.30. Thanks for joining us. Live from 7, the news station, this is 7 News at 10. The price of natural gas in El Paso is going down. This is 7 News 10 at 10, where you always get at least 10 straight minutes of the day's news. Good evening. The cost to heat your home will be a little less this month. On air, online, live. This is 7 News at 10. Instead of saying YISD, Anthony Trujillo's next paycheck just might say DISD. This is the start of at least 10 straight minutes of news on 7 News 10 at 10. You're watching 7 News at 10, on air, online, with Gary Warner, Estella Casas, Guaranteed Weather with Rick Glancy, and Lou Romano with Sports. On air, online, live, you're watching 7 News Weekend with Chris Sanchez, Shelton Dodson, Guaranteed Weather with Michael McCoy, and Carolyn Hughes with Sports. This is the El Paso Las Cruces News Leader. Now, ABC 7 at 6, where news comes first. Good evening and thank you for joining us on ABC 7 at 6. I'm Gary Warner. And I'm Estela Casas, a local developer. In you are watching ABC 7 at 6 with Gary Warner. Estela Casas. Chief Meteorologist Doppler Dave Spielman and sports with Rick Cabrera. You're watching ABC 7 at 6 with Gary Warner, Estella Casas, meteorologist Doppler Dave Spielman, and Rick Cabrera with sports. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland, this is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso. A very good morning to you, El Paso, Las Cruces, Juarez, and everyone else. I'm Bob Harp. And I'm Hillary Florin. Good morning, everyone. The time now is 6.01. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland, this is ABC 7's top-rated morning news. Good morning, El Paso. Rise and shine. A very good morning to you, El Paso, Las Cruces, Juarez, and all surrounding areas, of course. You're watching ABC 7's Good Morning, El Paso with Hillary Florin, Bob Hart, Storm Track Weather Meteorologist Jorge Torres, and live reports from Stephanie Valle. Live where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland, this is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso Weekend. Good morning, El Paso, and thank you for joining us on this Sunday morning. I'm April Betkin. And I'm Veronique Masterson. We begin with developing news. You are watching ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso Weekend with Abe Lubetkin, Veronique Masterson, and Storm Trek meteorologist Andrew Chung. Live, where news comes first, from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7 at noon. Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us on air and online for ABC 7 at noon. Live, where news comes first, 
from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7 at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on ABC 7 at 6. I'm Estela Casas. And I'm Rick Cabrera. We'll get to all of those drug arrests in just a moment, but first... You are watching ABC 7 at 6 with Estela Casas, Rick Cabrera, Storm Track Weather Chief Meteorologist Doppler Dave Spielman, and Raul Martinez with Sports. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at 10. Good evening, I'm Rick Cabrera. And I'm Estela Casas. Thank you for joining us tonight. A controversial new law already in effect in some Texas cities. Where news comes first. You're watching ABC 7 Extra. Now, here's your host, Darren Hall. It's nice to get a fresh perspective, right? Now on Good Morning El Paso, happening today, your last chance to register to vote. And for some of you, your first chance to make your voice heard in this year's election. Hurricane Matthew may have passed, but massive flooding caused by the deadly storm continues. Where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso. Rise and shine and a very good morning to you, El Paso, Las Cruces, and Juarez. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Hillary Florin. Watching ABC 7. Good morning, El Paso, with Hillary Florin, Stephanie Valle, and live reports from Denise Olivas. Watching ABC 7's Good Morning, El Paso, with Hillary Florin, Bob Hart. Storm Track Weather Meteorologist Crystal Cly and live reports from Denise Olivas. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7 at noon. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7 at 5. The population aren't citizens of this country. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to sound like a racist, but they're not citizens here. I don't have a Mexican ID because I'm not a citizen of Mexico. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7 at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on ABC 7 at 6. I'm Estela Casas. And I'm Rick Cabrera. We're following breaking news out of Fort Bliss tonight. You're watching ABC 7 at 6 with Estela Casas, Rick Cabrera, Storm Track Weather Chief Meteorologist Dr. Dave Spielman, and Danny Mata with Sports. Live where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley, Atlas Cruces, to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7 at 9 on the El Paso Las Cruces CW. Hello everybody, this is ABC 7 at 9 on the CW. I'm Bob Harp, your top stories coming up in just a little bit. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley, Atlas Cruces, to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7 at 10. They're asking my son, well, why didn't you testify? He can't testify. He's been in jail four years. Look at his, his eyes. My son-in-law isn't there anymore. Today we spoke with the father-in-law of Antonio Lopez. He says Lopez is not the one responsible for the death of a child, but for the jury, it wasn't so clear-cut. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rick Cabrera. And I'm Estela Casas. Live, where news comes first. This is ABC7 Extra. Good evening, I'm Maria Garcia. Welcome to ABC 7 Extra. Glad you're with us tonight. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso. Very good Thursday morning, El Paso, Las Cruces, and Juarez. I'm Mauricio Casillas. And I'm Hillary Florin. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso Weekend. 
Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Dylan McKim. Shelby Montgomery has the day off. Where news comes first, from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at noon. And we are under an ABC 7 first alert. The winds already picking up this noon. Live, where news comes first, from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at 4. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on air, online, and on your smartphone for ABC 7 at 4. Live, where news comes first, from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at 5. Well, I thought I was ready for winter, <laughs> and then last night my heat went out, and I decided I was not ready for winter. <laughs> After seeing one of the warmest Novembers on record, we start off December with a wintry blast. Live, where news comes first, from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 6 weekend. I'm Kate Beery. And I'm JC Navarrete. We do begin ABC 7 at 6 with breaking news from the ABC 7 Alert Center. Live, where news comes first, from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC 7 at 10. For those who are wanting the cooler temperatures, you got it, and then some. The Borderland got hit with snow flurries this morning and into the afternoon hours. It's on ABC 7 at 10. I was mad. My reaction was mad. I'm still mad. I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna be mad. A power outage brings the world's busiest airport to a standstill. Cancellations, delays, and rerouted flights Dozens of El Pasoans and Las Cruces caught up in the mess. A pedestrian struck by a car over the weekend. Police still investigating the incident, where it happened, and the latest details. We're under an ABC 7 first alert for a steady rain overnight here in the valleys, which will be a snow above six or 7,000 feet overnight tonight. I'm going to time that out coming up. What is firefighters continue a decades old tradition, gifting toys to thousands of children in need. But this year, they need your help more than ever. We'll tell you what you can do. It's Sunday night, it's 10 o'clock. 10 straight minutes of news, start now. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC 7 at 10 weekend. Taking a live look outside from our TxDOT traffic camera network. The live, where news comes first. This is ABC 7 with breaking news. Good morning and thank you for joining us. We're following several breaking news stories this morning. Where news comes first. This is ABC 7 Extra. Good evening. I'm Saul Sainz and this is ABC 7 Extra. Only uh, one of the three major school districts in El Paso can make the claim that enrollment numbers in their district are up. Live. Where news comes first, from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at Noon. Good afternoon. Thanks for staying with ABC 7 at Noon on air and live online. Live, where news comes first, from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at 4. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on air, online, and on your smartphone for ABC 7 at 4. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at 5. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 5. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at 5 Weekend. Well, a very good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Iris Lopez in for Kate Beery. And I'm JC Navarrete. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 6. I'm Stephanie Valle. Eric Elkin has the day off. Next on ABC 7's 10 at 10. Miss Ray. 
That's the woman charged with trespassing at the El Paso Zoo after getting out of jail today. She was recorded in the spider monkey exhibit feeding the animals. We'll tell you what she told us when we confronted her. Plus, we'll tell you why the director of the El Paso Museums of History and Art was arrested. Charges he faces. Plus, our first look at the migrant facility for children at Fort Bliss. The conditions inside, according to El Paso Congresswoman Veronica Escobar. Extra depth on changes that are helping COVID vaccine vaccination efforts across the country. We'll tell you what vaccine providers are now allowed to do. Doppler. All right, here's what we're looking at. Temperatures going to get hotter as we make our way towards the upcoming holiday weekend. Rain chances continue to be in the forecast. We'll talk about when we could see the rain. What's our chances coming up? Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7 at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7's 10 at 10. I'm Saul Sainz. And I'm Stephanie Valle. Eric Elkin has the night off. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7 at 10 weekend. Well, a very good evening and thank you for joining us. Live, where news comes first. This is ABC 7 with breaking news. Very good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here on ABC 7 at noon, both on air and live online. I'm Nick Patrick. And I'm Madeline Ottilie. We begin this hour out of our ABC 7 Alert Center following breaking news. KVI ATV Channel 7, El Paso.